So today is my one year anniversary of starting this vlog. This video you're watching right now is number 176, which means I've made a video every other day for a year straight. I'm really proud of this body of work I've taken on, and today I want to share with you a little bit about how I started vlogging. And that all starts with my wife, Jen. Jen and I met in July of 2007. One of the things I fell in love with was her love for travel. You see, up until I met Jen, the only place I had ever been to in my adult life was Portland, Oregon. Jen, on the other hand, had been to all kinds of exotic places like Tanzania, Dubai, Zanzibar. She even taught English in El Salvador for a couple of years. Every year when my vacation would renew at work, I'd just cash it out. But in 2009, we decided to take our first trip together, and we decided on Las Vegas, Nevada. I bought this little crappy Kodak point and shoot, and as soon as we were up in the air, I started shooting video and taking pictures. I couldn't help but want to capture every single moment of this trip. I've never been anywhere on planet Earth more than I have Las Vegas, Nevada. We had an amazing time there, and it's the first time I really felt alive. It's when life finally made sense to me. And Jen and I are on the 27th floor, which is like really, really, really high up. <laughs> and it's almost scary how high up we are. After we got back from Las Vegas, I had all these videos and pictures on my camera. So I decided to make a little vacation video. I continued to make these vacation videos for every single trip we would ever go on until I started vlogging. 2009, Quintana Roo, Mexico. It's the first time I've ever left the country. Correction, it's the first time I ever remember leaving the country. Sometimes travel is just better with friends. When you see the ocean for the first time, it seems oddly familiar, yet underwhelming. But then, you step in it, and it's amazing. This was the first time I conquered my fear of heights. It was probably 50 feet high. In 2010, back to Las Vegas. Sometimes travel is just better with friends. This was the first time I started taking video with my digital SLR. Jen and I got married on July 17, 2010. After a wedding, most people check into a fancy hotel, or maybe they just go home and wake up for brunch the next day. Three hours after our wedding was over, we were on a plane to Castri St. Lucia. They drive on the other side of the street there. Jen was less than thrilled. This was the first time I ever went ziplining. And this is the first time I ever saw dolphins in real life. They're amazing. The view from Fort Rodney is breathtaking. I have never seen anything like this in my entire life. The only way to really get to know two people you just met is to go on a 48-hour road trip to New Orleans together. This was the first time I had alligator. It was delicious. 2011, back to Las Vegas. Sometimes travel is just better with friends. Golden Gate Bridge was the first real iconic American landmark I had ever seen. It was bigger than I expected. I don't believe for a single second that anyone successfully escaped Alcatraz and made it out alive. Next time we're in Napa Valley, we have to remember to take that wine train we saw. Downtown Orangistad is filled with casinos and iguanas that do this weird head bobbing thing. The Jeep Safari is crazier than it looks. Miss you, Aruba.
back to New Orleans. She had no idea he was about to propose. The guy on the left is our friend Leonard. We miss you, Leonard. Can't wait to see you again soon. 2012, back to Las Vegas. It's a 45 minute drive from Las Vegas to the Hoover Dam. This thing is enormous. There's this road that takes you from Miami to Key West called the Overseas Highway. It's one of the best drives I've ever done. Key West is the southernmost point in the United States. Don't ever vlog while riding a moped. This was the best drag show I had ever seen. Back to New Orleans. Our friends who got engaged here last year just got married here. Congratulations, Steve and Andy. In the Dominican Republic, you can take these crazy dune buggies into the rainforest. This is the bluest water I have ever seen in my entire life. Those are stingrays. That's a shark. Toronto is the fourth largest city in North America, and the CN Tower is the tallest freestanding structure in the Western Hemisphere. Everything feels so trivial from 14,000 feet. On a clear day, you can see the Toronto skyline from the top of the Skyline Tower in Niagara Falls. Buffalo reminded me a lot of Milwaukee. Love that city. This was the first time I had ever seen the Pacific Ocean. Oh my God, you guys. Now, I say this a lot, but I really mean it this time when I say <laughs> that the Pacific Northwest right is the most beautiful place I have ever seen in my entire life. Tiny secret. There's this aerial tram in Portland, Oregon, which gives you an incredible view of downtown. Jen was less than thrilled. 2014, Louisville, Kentucky. If you like bourbon, this is definitely the place for you. They have the world's only underground zip line here. Jen hated it. How do you like it? How's the, uh, it's still confusing. <laughs> this is when an app called Snapchat introduced something called Stories. You could basically record quick snippets of your day and it would automatically compile them into a video for you. This was the point where I transitioned from making these vacation videos to daily vlogging. I would continue to use Snapchat until I started this vlog in 2015. This is the high roller ferris wheel in Las Vegas, Nevada. I shit you not, you can fit 40 people in one of these pods. This was the last time we saw our friends Dan and Brittany. Miss you guys. We'll see you again soon. This is when we went hiking for the first time in Utah. And this is the part where we walked down the Virgin River to the Narrows. It was absolutely mesmerizing. Albuquerque, New Mexico has the world's longest aerial tram. Jen was not a fan. 2015, San Diego, California. I can see why everyone loves Southern California. We took a train to Los Angeles and we saw the space shuttle Endeavor. I will always regret never seeing a space shuttle launch. I remember when the Challenger blew up. If you've never been to LA during the Oscars, I promise you it's insane. This was the last vacation video I ever made. It's 4.30 in the morning, 
Friday, July 3rd. This is vlog number 26. And where are we headed, Jen? Louisville. I was no longer just making videos for when I traveled. I was making videos every single day. And I made it up to 89 in a row. And on this one year anniversary of me starting this vlog, I'm on number 176. I've been on more planes than I can count. And as silly as it may seem, I think I get afraid that I'm gonna forget all of this. Maybe it's because both of my grandfathers had Alzheimer's and I'm afraid I'm gonna get it. Or maybe it's because this is all just too much, too fast. But being able to look back and relive all of these moments at the click of a button is something not everyone gets to do. So I cherish what I've made and I value it immensely. I started vlogging because it seemed like the next logical step in documenting my life. It started with vacation videos, then Snapchat stories, and now these vlogs. Capturing every moment of your life isn't for everyone, but for me, it comes natural. I want to do it. I love doing it. Now, I don't know how long I'm going to keep doing this, but if the last decade is any indication, I probably won't be stopping anytime soon. This whole thing where I started documenting my life started with a trip to Las Vegas almost 10 years ago. And when I think back to why I started documenting all those trips, and why I started vlogging, the answer is the same today as it was back then. I like you guys didn't even see that. Because I don't want to forget a single second of my life. Man, I can't believe a year ago today, right here, I started this vlog. What was I thinking? 